All right, so we got Dev Letter 19 now, and it's crazy how we're already on Dev Letter 19. Like, time is just flying by. Um, hopefully, we can get to Dev Letter 70, because uh, I love this game, and uh, hopefully, the game could last that long. Uh, but if they continue to make the game uh, better and improve over time, like they are right now, um, then I could definitely see the game uh, lasting a super, super long time. But, anyways, we got a lot of information to cover. I mean, a lot of the information we already know about, but uh, we could just quickly take a look through again and see if there's anything we mi I missed uh, in the like in the <laughs> in the letter. But, <laughs> anyways, so the first one over here, we got the legendary event for Palkia. Um, and that was a big buff that they got, and I'm super happy they got it. Uh, but the next up is Iris and Hydreigon, and they're coming out in four, in three or four days from now, or four or five days. Um, and uh, they're going to be like one of the best tech types in the game when it comes to damage. So very excited for them. Um, they're coming out on March 18th, so very excited for that. Um, then we got the Blissful Bonanza coming, and uh, in this Blissful Bonanza, you can collect valuable items that you can exchange for five-star guaranteed scout tickets, lucky scrolls, lucky cookies, and more. Each, okay, so it's the same stuff basically, but that's just making a return, so that's nice. And then we got the Fairy and Normal Type Egg Event, so that's going to be cool. Uh, more shinies to try to collect, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Not much of a fan of, uh, like shiny hunting in this game like it's just not really fun because all you need to do is just collect the eggs and then just incubate them and then wait an excessive amount of time for no reason so <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm not much of a fan of uh, the egg hatching in this game um and then uh piplup and barry are going to be getting their six star unlocked on march 29th so if you are a big fan of Barry and Piplup, they're going to be getting their 6-star Awakening and they're a striker, so we know how good they are with Sync Nuking. And with them getting their 6-star Awakening, now their Sync Nuking will be AoE. So <laughs> they're going to be much better now, so that's awesome. Um, and then we got Diantha and Gardevoir making their debut, and we already know about them, of course. Um, and they're coming out late March, and I think they're coming out on Mar March 31st, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they're coming out like basically a week or so after um iris and uh hydragon come out so if you're looking to get them uh then just know uh they're gonna be coming out like just about a week and two days after um iris and hydragon come out or a week and a half after iris and hydragon so uh, just know they're coming out in like the end of march if you're looking to get them um, and they're a very good fairy type, so if you are in need of a good fairy type, then definitely save up for them, because we do have a lot of dragon types, so Iris and Hydreigon, probably a lot of people are going to be skipping them, but I know they are a fan favorite too. So if you're free to play, <laughs> you definitely got to choose which one you want to go for, because they're both very good. Um, and then Latias is coming as a legendary arena, and we already know about that too because of data mine information. I don't think I covered it on this channel, but um, they are coming, and that's gonna be cool. And they're gonna be the same thing as, uh, or Latias is legendary arena is gonna be the same as uh, Latios's arena, where there was multiple uh, Pokemon on the field with Latias, or Latios, sorry. Uh, so it's gonna be the same kind of gimmick. So I'm not really expecting it to be like super, super hard. Um, so it's, it might be the same difficulty as uh, Latio, so we'll have to see when it comes out, but it's also coming out in late March, and it might be weak to... Wait, Dragon and Fairy moves are super... Okay, well, <laughs> there we go. So Diantha and Iris are going to be the best options for this stage of them. Um, so, and then we got uh, the story event, uh, Pasio Explorers. Uh, the Pasio Explorers story event will begin in early April. Uh, so I guess it's like the Easter event. Uh, the story event is unique in that you'll be able to acquire eggs that hatch Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> Not really unique because we already uh, have eggs in the game. But anyways. Uh, to, to coincide with the event, two sync pairs in seasonal attire will appear. So, okay. So we're getting Easter um, sync pairs. So that's awesome. I do like Easter. So I might have to summon on that banner. Um, so we hope to uh, we hope you look forward to their reveal. I'm excited for that because I do like the Easter season or the Easter um, holiday. Um, so it's going to be pretty awesome to see what they have in store for us for that. Um, and then we got the uh, Unova Champion Stadium coming. So I'm excited for that because I do love the Unova region. Um, I think it's Unova, but I call it Unova because it's just something I've been saying ever since I've been playing the game. <laughs> but uh, Unova, Unova, whatever. Uh, we got the, the Unova uh, Champion Stadium coming, so I'm excited about that. Um, and Alder and Iris are both the champions, so they're going to be alternating. 
So one week, uh, the final boss is going to be Alder, and then the next week is going to be Iris, and just so on. So yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm excited for that. Um, and then um, chapter 28 to the main story is going to be coming. Uh, so chapter 28 will be added to the main story in early April. We're less than six months away from the second anniversary in late August, which is when the main story is scheduled to complete to be completed. We hope you enjoy the exciting conclusion. We're also now working on a unique new story that will be added to Pokemon Master DX after the main story is complete. You won't want to miss it. Uh, I'm actually excited about that because they're doing a great job with the story. In terms of pacing the story, like it's taken a while, but I mean, if they make the ending to this arc good, then it's going to be well worth it because then I'll actually go through the whole story again myself just on my own time and uh, and just read everything again um, as like or when this arc ends. So I'm excited for that. I'm definitely excited. Um, and then we got a new story event, Trials on the Isle. Trials on the Isle um, or yeah, the Trials on the Isle. Island, Isle. Okay, yeah, it's Isle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that stumped me, but anyway. The Trials on the Isle story event will begin in mid-April. At the same time, sync pairs from the Alola region will, will come to Pasio. More details will be available when the event arrives, so stay tuned. And uh, our next message is scheduled for late April. In it, we plan to discuss upcoming uh, content from late April to mid-May. We also aim to tell you about our plans for a new type of event that's unlike any other seen in the game before. So we hope you look forward to it. Okay, that's... <laughs> I'm excited for the next dev letter now. Um, anytime we get a new kind of event that we haven't seen before, I'm definitely going to be excited for. Um, but yeah, not really much to take in. Only really new stuff that we didn't really know about are from like um, Latios, Legendary Arena event and down. Because we didn't know about the Latios or the Latias event. But the Explorer stuff and the Nova, everything else underneath here, like we did not really know about from what I know. Um, I didn't know about any of this, so it's cool that we're getting um, quite a bit of stuff coming for like April and May. So I'm excited for all of this. Um, but regardless of uh, this dev letter, like this game is making a big improvement. And uh, from when the stamina system first got introduced, um, they rebound, I would say, quite good. Like their rebound was good. Um, then they're recovering from uh, the, like the I guess you could say a uh, downfall um, But it's going good now, and I'm happy to see that because I love the game and I want it to succeed um, But uh, but yeah Not much really like huge in this dev letter. Um, I guess you could argue that uh, the Unova one is huge uh, But it's just like sort of the uh, region change for the champion stadium But uh, I know a lot of people like the Unova region too, so that's cool. And then we're getting a new event late April or early May, I think it is. What is it, is it uh, scheduled for late April and then the content? Yeah, so like mid-May, uh, I guess. But but yeah, let me know what you guys are excited for uh, in this dev letter. Um, personally, I'm super excited for Iris and Hydreigon because like Hydreigon is my, my top five favorite Pokemon in like all of Pokemon. So I'm super excited for that. Um, also, Diantha. Diantha is going to be a cheap uh, sync pair to try to get just because like she's like she's mostly sync nuking and for a sync nuker there's better options than her uh, because at one out of five she's still going to be hitting super super hard so if you just get one copy for her then you're going to be good uh, but Iris you're going to need to get her to three out of five in order for her max potential to be shown uh, but Diantha just one out of five is good enough so but yeah Again, let me know what you guys think of this dev letter. Uh, what are you excited for? Um, what kind of uh, sync pairs are you going to be pulling for? Diantha or Iris? Um, and then for the Easter events, let me know who you think the uh, seasonal Easter um, sync pairs are going to be. That's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you guys later.